everyone. So welcome to my very first what I eat in a day video. I've been wanting to do one of these for so long now so I'm super excited to be doing it. If you're not really into these videos then that's okay you don't have to watch this one you can just wait for next week's video which will be kind of back to the normal format but I just really wanted to try out doing one of these because I often get people just asking me to tell them like what my full day of eating is so I thought it would be easier to just have a video out there with a better idea of it. So aside from all that we're going to be doing the first meal today which of course is breakfast. Today I am having a smoothie because like what else were you expecting? <laughs> Excuse some of the gunk on my blender that's just from when I made waffles the other day and some of the mixture got stuck to it and it did not come out in the dishwasher. So the first thing that usually goes into my smoothies is flaxseed banana, mixed frozen berries, lots and lots of cinnamon. I think this technically isn't real cinnamon, the cassia one is kind of imitation cinnamon in a way, but I like the taste of this one better than real cinnamon to be honest, but don't tell anyone. I'll lose vegan points. <laughs> My favourite milk ever for things like this. This is unsweetened vanilla flavour almond milk by Almond Breeze. I don't usually put any sweeteners in this because it's already really sweet with all the berries in it. I also like the almond milk. Even though it's unsweetened, it does add some sweetness to it as well. Like I think it's something to do with the vanilla flavour. If you can't tell already, this is going to be a smoothie bowl. This is pretty much the only way that I have smoothies these days because it's so much more fun. So I'm going to add the toppings on now and this is actually, this doesn't really matter but it does to me. This is like a really pretty like berry purpley pink colour but it kind of looks like an ugly tomato soup colour on the viewfinder so this isn't as gross as what it might look. So I'm going to add some monster muesli berry flavour. This only comes in like two or three flavours, but I only like this one. Goji berries, cacao nibs, <laughs> so the pupils. I know there's already some in here, but I like adding extra. One Brazil nut for selenium. Chia seeds. I'm gonna try and make this aesthetically pleasing, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> So that is my massive smoothie bowl of amazingness. I love this. This is one of my favourite breakfasts. So I think we're going to go eat this together, have like a little mukbang kind of thing. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to the mukbang setup. I'm kind of just filming this in my room because the lighting's good and it's just easier. I know that's kind of weird doing a mukbang on your bed, but here we are. Anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna like eat my smoothie and just have a little chat with you guys. I hope that's cool. I've never done this in my life, so I've got no clue what I'm doing. Anyway, so I am super excited for October coming up. I'm, I'm sure like knowing my audience, you guys probably are as well. <laughs> I actually don't know yet what I'm gonna be doing for Halloween. Like, half the fun really is just like the lead up to it, I think. Seeing all the Halloween stuff out everywhere and like getting to buy all the spooky home decor that's only available in October. It's only... what's the date today? So today is the 24th of September, the time that I'm filming this, so it might be October by the time this is uploaded. Yeah, I've already found like heaps of Halloween stuff in stores around here, which is really good for Australia because we're like really slack with Halloween, so I'm pretty excited about what I've got already. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm probably going to do more than one Halloween haul this year, just because I've already got so much stuff. It's kind of ironic because this year I was like, you know what, I think I need to settle down a bit with all the Halloween stuff that I buy. <coughs> Talking and eating at the same time is not my forte. <laughs> Because what was I actually talking about? No, I've completely forgotten what I was talking about. Oh yeah, right. So this year I was like, I'm, I'm just going to only get the things that I really, really like. I'm not going to go crazy this time because it's just kind of ridiculous. And then what do I do when I see Halloween stuff? That whole idea of only getting what I really want and all logic just goes completely out the window and it's like I just lose my mind for two seconds. So I've already bought a heap of Halloween stuff and to be fair, like I think I have been pretty good still, even though I have got 
a few things. I like left a lot of stuff behind that I really liked, so it's a start. <laughs> um, but also, I think it's here in Australia, our like pagan holidays are different to in America and stuff because we're in the southern hemisphere. I always feel like I'm celebrating two different holidays at once. Then like on Sunday last week it was Ostara. It's like every year I'm celebrating Easter, Christmas, Halloween, all that stuff twice. It's kind of weird but I don't know. <laughs> Aside from Halloween, other things I'm really excited for in October, it's like two different events and it's one after the other like on a weekend so two days in a row of stuff. On the Saturday I am going to the Adelaide Vegan Festival because I've only been there once which was last year and I really want to go again because it was really fun which would be cool. Mm. I'm really looking forward to that. And then the day after the vegan festival I'm seeing the Sisters of Mercy which I'm so excited about. I keep having dreams about it I just I can't wait. <laughs> I'm actually still paying off the ticket because my mum bought it for me and I've been like paying it off because she's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Sisters of Mercy actually came to, they came to Soundwave one year and I was there and I really wanted to see them but my friend who was with me, she wanted to see like Slipknot or something and because it was my first time at Soundwave I didn't want to be left on my own in case I got lost and stuff so I ended up going with her to see Slipknot which I mean you know is fine. I really really regretted that I didn't see the Sisters of Mercy though but at least I get to now so yeah it's all good it's all right. <laughs> that was like years ago in high school. I'm pretty excited I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah what else? I don't know what else to talk about. I know. Since the other day was a Stara, I finally unpacked all of my altar stuff because it was sitting in a box in my room for, I don't know, months, however long I've been living here for, just because since my studio still needs work before I can unpack there, it's kind of made unpacking in my bedroom a bit difficult as well. But anyway, I decided to just completely overlook that and just get my altar out. Everything feels wrong when I don't have my altar. It just feels like, like a part of me is missing, I think. And I've been feeling that way for so long. So I didn't have an altar at all at my last house. It just got complicated and I never intended to not have an altar at all. Um, it kind of just happened. So yeah, anyway, I set it up. I wanted to make a kind of a star based altar, so. I added like a crystal egg and some flowers for offerings and like the cloth that I used underneath is different to what it would usually be. So I added one that I got from the thrift store recently and it's got these little, you know the suns with the faces that have become really popular. It's got that on it, just like suns and spring and stuff. I kind of associate the two together so yeah, I mean I'm really happy with it. I'm glad that I got it out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's just way smaller than my last one was, so there's a bunch of stuff that's still in a box because it doesn't fit on the altar, so I don't know what to do about that, but hopefully as I get unpacking, maybe I can move it to the studio and get a bigger altar? I don't know. Um, I feel like I haven't eaten very much in like the 20 minutes that I've been talking to you, probably because I've been talking. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like finish eating this on my own now because I don't know what else to talk about but yeah let me know what you think of like this format I've never done a mukbang before and I hope it was okay let me know if you want to see like a full video of some kind of mukbang like I can order some vegan junk food and just eat and talk together or something I don't know we'll see kind of depends on how this one turns out <laughs> I'm gonna finish this and I'll be back when I next eat something I'm hungry so I'm ready for a snack so I've got some coconut water, Alpro yogurt and roasted fava beans and these are so nice they taste just like pizza shapes but they're vegan. Hi hello I am back in the very unflattering lighting. It is now lunchtime, so I'm gonna make my favorite lunch. My favorite thing to have for lunch is a sweet potato so I've got this massive one here. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing because like it's massive. I think like that lunch is good. Yes that will 
Okay, excuse the aeroplane that you can hear in the background, it's super loud. But anyway, I'm gonna stop this. This is honestly like the most easiest lunch ever and it's so good as well. Also, I should warn you now, my cooking is so lazy. I usually do everything in the microwave, so you're about to witness some very lazy food preparation. But uh, I don't care <laughs> because it tastes good to me and it, it fills me up and I'm happy, so what does it matter? So the next part is super easy. I just pop that on a plate and put it in the microwave. My favorite thing to have with sweet potato is mushrooms. So I'm gonna have a couple of mushies. Also, I know my chopping board is really small, but I do have a big one, but I like using the tiny one for stuff that I'm not like cutting heaps of things up for like this. Like I really don't need a massive chopping board for this, so. That is why I have a teeny tiny one. I usually have spinach with this as well, but I've run out, so I'm gonna have zucchini instead. ingredient curry powder it is so nice I was kind of just experimenting with spices and stuff and I'm like hey let's just put curry powder on everything and uh, I never looked back and I just like shake that all up and then once the sweet potato is out of the microwave I put these in the microwave and I know some people probably think that that's really gross because sometimes mushrooms go slimy if you cook them in the microwave but I have not experienced that myself. As I said, I'm a very lazy cook and I just, I mean, my life is in the microwave. What do you want from me? So I just got my potato out and when I opened the door, the potato had like rolled over to this side and all I saw was the plate. So I was like, where did my potato go? I was so worried for a second. I didn't know what happened to it. I really thought it disappeared, but it was fine. It was just hiding in the corner. Oh man, that felt like life playing a practical joke on me. Is it cooked? been waiting for this. Oh, beautiful. I'm putting garlic salt on the potato as well. Then I cooked little vegetables and then I like put them on the potato, which I know isn't like very pretty, but it does taste good. <laughs> for the next secret ingredient that's not so secret, cashew butter. This is my favorite, favorite thing to have on sweet potato. Well, actually to have on anything. I, I have it with my porridge, I have it with my sweet potato, I have it with banana, like, it's just my favorite. So I get like a really generous dollop. I've been told by people that this looks like poo. It looks more like poo when I use almond butter, to be honest, but I just, I love it so much. This is my delicious lunch, and I'm gonna go enjoy this. I'm gonna have a snack. It's actually nearly dinner time. I feel like eating something right now, so I'm going to. First of all, I'm gonna have a waffle. When did I make these? I don't know, a couple days ago. They're just made of banana, oats, water. Blend up the ingredients, put it in the waffle maker, and then cool them off on a rack, and then I keep them in the fridge for when I feel like one. So I'm gonna put one of these in the toaster and put some toppings on. And then I also feel like having some fruit. I'm gonna have some watermelon. I'm obviously not gonna eat the whole watermelon, but I'm gonna go eat snacks and then it'll be dinner time. slowly declining into sleepy mode so 
ignore that. So dinner time. I'm going to be having some satay tofu and vegetables and some brown rice. I have this tofu, peanut satay tofu. A soyko. This is just like some leftover stuff from last night. I think it's like in most grocery stores and they have like different flavours but this one's my favourite so I pretty much just only eat this one. <laughs> I'll quickly show you like the satay sauce that I use because I'm lazy and I don't make my own satay sauce. I used to but I don't feel like it tonight so anyway I use this one. It's by Chef's Choice and you can see it says vegan on it so that's always helpful. I just get this in the health food section of the supermarket. I think I get this one at Foodland and it's like three dollars or something really nice I have this meal like once a week because it's my favorite <laughs> so I'm just gonna get cooking and yeah So I have finished cooking dinner. I'm pretty sure I showed you everything that goes in it, but it's just got tofu, brown rice, butter beans, broccoli, zucchini, carrot, and then the satay sauce. Oh, and mushrooms as well, nearly forgot. And I'm also having some more coconut water, which in this light looks kind of like wheat. I promise it doesn't taste like it. Although some people would probably disagree with me, but. So this is probably gonna be the last of what I eat today and I'm generally after dinner I'm pretty satiated I don't usually have snacks afterwards because I'm just pretty full that is my full day of eating and of course like it usually varies day to day but this is like an idea of the things that I commonly like eating let me know if you like this and I can maybe make more in the future I'm gonna go eat my dinner so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time